What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today ladies and gentlemen uh, bringing you a video showing everybody how to back up their game files as we do have another update coming to GT5 on December 13th. Uh, big shout out to Chris Roman who was the one that told me about this, sent me the screenshot and if I can find the screenshot of what Chris sent me I will put it up on the screen here for you guys to see. Um, we have a update coming to GTA 5 online December 13th. So what does that mean? If you're a modder and you like to mod your GTA 5 as in LSPFR or add-on peds or any kind of mods folder or anything like that that you have in your file, a modified Grand Theft Auto 5, and you use script hook V, um, it's going to break your game unless you take the steps I'm fixing to show you. So with that being said, the first thing that we're going to do is this is going to be for Steam and Epics. So Steam and Epics, go ahead and pull up your GT5 main directories, okay? Now, um, let's do Epics first because there's really only one step you can take, and it's going to be a very easy step. So what I want you to do, Epic users, Steam users, hang on tight, just hang tight, I'll get with you. You want to go to your desktop and right-click, click New, and click Folder, and just simply name this... Just simply name this Backup Epics, okay? If I can possibly s spell today, if I can get it right. Let me do that one more time. Or you can name it whatever you want. Just something that you can remember uh, this by. Because you're going to take a couple of files from your director and you're going to put it in here for later on when the update takes place. So if you have a mod of GTA 5, which my... Epic's version is not modded, but I'm going to show you how to back up your game files. There's only really one way that Epic's can back up their game files, okay? So Epic users, once you have your directory open, you're going to highlight two files inside of this directory. You are going to highlight the gta5.exe right here, okay? And then you're going to hold down your control key and highlight the play gt5. That's the only two files that you need. Nothing else at this point should be highlighted. Once you have those two highlighted... Um, while you're holding down your control key, right click and click copy. Okay. Then open up that folder that we just created, go into that folder and then left click, right click and click paste. Okay. You now have your files backed up right here, as you can see, and you can just put this folder somewhere, wherever you need to put it at, you know, leave it on your desktop or put it in a folder, in a file somewhere. But save those for the backup because when the backup takes place, we're going to be using those files to revert back, okay? So Epic users, you're done. Um, Steam users, now if, if you're on Epics and you're playing LSPFR, you're going to want to take this step as well. So Steam users, go ahead and close out of your directory and what we're going to do is we're going to click on our Rage plugin hook and immediately hold down the left shift key. So click Rage, hold down your left shift key, keep holding it down until the box pops up. All right, now this is going to be your Rage plugin settings right here. So what you want to do is just go all the way over to Game Settings and go down to where it says Backup Game Version, okay? Once that pops down, click Backup Current Version. As you can see, mine's already backed up. And it doesn't take long. If you haven't backed it up yet, it doesn't take long. It takes off about probably just about five seconds to back it up, okay? So click that. And then once we revert, uh, once the update takes place, we'll come back to this right here, the revert. And we will have an option to revert our game file, okay? As for now, go ahead and exit out of this. Steam users, go ahead and pull up your main directory, all right? And in here, uh, on your desktop, Steam users, you're going to right-click. You're going to click New, click Folder, and you're just simply going to name this Backup Steam, okay? And we're going to do the same thing that we did with Epics, except... Except you need four files instead of two. So in your main directory, Steam users, scroll down. You want to highlight the gt5.exe. Hold down your control key. Highlight the GT5 language select. The GT5 launcher. And then scroll down. Hold down your control key and highlight the play GT5. So the four files you should have highlighted right now is your gt5.exe. The GT5 language select. The GT5 launcher. And the play GT5. Once you have all those highlighted, hold down your control key and right click on one of them and click copy. All right. Then you want to open up that folder that we just created and go in here and just left click, right click and click paste. And now your files are now backed up. So when we revert, 
if reverting through rage doesn't work we'll use those files now that's for steam users epics that's the only way you can back up your game there's really no other way to do it um with that said, guys, I think that's it. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. If I do, I apologize. I've got a lot to get done today. But Epics is now backed up. Steam is backed up. So when the update takes place on December 13th, guys, December 13th, which is just a few weeks away, okay? It's just a few weeks away for December 13th. Make sure you've got your game version backed up so that you don't have to wait for the updates for LSPFR and uh, Script Hook V. Now, keep in mind, when the updates do take place, right, when the update takes place for GT5 Online, okay, if you didn't back up your game file, you're going to have to wait for LSPFR, Rage Plugin Hook, and Script Hook V to update, and you don't want to do that, okay? Uh, this way, you can revert back. By doing these steps, you can revert back and play while the other mods, while the main mods are updating. Um, so, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this tutorial. Subscribe if you're new, smash that like button for me, click that bell, and click off so you never miss any future content or live streams. Uh, don't forget that tonight we will be going back live on um, Dark Pictures Anthology, The Devil and Me. We'll be going live at 5 o'clock, guys and girls, 5 o'clock. Hope to see y'all there. Ladies and gentlemen, until next time, stay safe, stay awesome. God, be God bless you all, and be humble. I will see you all in the next video.